December 2nd, 1943, Bari, Italy. In a war drowned in darkness, one harbor makes a fatal mistake. Bari is blazing with floodlights. It should be blacked out. Instead, it shines like a beacon. Among the tightly packed ships sits one that looks completely ordinary, the SS John Harvey. But in her hold lies a secret almost no one knows. 2,000 mustard gas bombs, a weapon meant to stay hidden, a secret meant never to see daylight. 1930, the night explodes. A wave of 105 German bombers come in low, skimming the rooftops. They drop magnesium flares, Christmas trees, turning darkness into blinding white. Bombs walk across the harbor. Then one finds the John Harvey. She doesn't just burn, she detonates. A fireball rises and mixed inside that smoke is a silent killer, a drifting mist with a faint smell of garlic. Hundreds of sailors are thrown into the freezing water. They cling to debris. They call out for friends who will never answer back. The sea around them is black, oily, and poisoned. But no one knows it yet. By morning, the survivors collapse. Men who escape the blast wake up blind, coughing blood. Their skin peels away in sheets. Doctors are confused. Command orders silence. But one man refuses to look away. Latikulger Stuart Alexander. Walking through the morgues, he sees something no one expects. The gas didn't just burn these men. It destroyed their white blood cells. It targeted anything that grew fast. And in that horror, he sees a possibility. If this poison kills rapidly growing cells, could it kill cancer? From the ashes of Bari? From a night of fire, panic, and secrecy, the first spark of chemotherapy is born. The men of the John Harvey died in a poisoned harbor, their sacrifice buried for years, but their tragedy helped save millions who would come after. War destroys, but sometimes, in its darkest corners, humanity discovers something that heals.